Hi students, we are learning about the theory of equations, so which is under the part of the quadratic equations. In that one, the next important concept we have to learn is synthetic division of polynomials. Okay, synthetic division of polynomials. So the synthetic division of polynomials is used to factorize the highest order polynomials are used to find the roots of the highest order polynomials okay so we will understand this concept with one example so then we can directly easily able to find out how to find out the synthetic division for the given polynomial so the question is find the coefficient okay find the quotient and reminder when x power 4 minus 6x cube plus 3x squared plus 26x minus 24 is divided by x minus 4. Okay. Now we can write this in the form as what it is x power 4 minus 6x cube plus 3x squared plus 26x minus 24 by divided by x minus 4 okay the divisor is x minus 4 so the first thing we have to do is write down the coefficients of the given polynomial okay write down the coefficients of the given polynomial from x power n to x power 0 that means x power n x power n minus 1 x power n minus 2 up to x power 0 in a row Okay, the decreasing powers of the coefficient. What, what is the write down the coefficients of the decreasing powers of the variable in a row? Now I can write this is as what it is the coefficient of leading coefficient x power 4 coefficient is 1 minus 6 3 26 minus 24. Okay, the first thing is over here, and the next one is. The denominator means the divisor so equate the divisor equal to 0 let here we have x minus 4 in general let it is considered as x minus a then equate it to 0 then we consider here or it is x is equals to a if it is x plus a equals to 0 if it is x plus a equals to 0 we can we get x is equals to minus a okay and for this question x minus 4 equal to 0 that means here we obtain x is equals to 4 now write this value the x value to the left of the okay to the left of the leading coefficient before that first draw a vertical line draw a vertical line to the left of the leading coefficient after drawing this to the left of this one write the value of x what is the value of x over here the divisor after making the divisor equals to 0, we are getting over here it is as a 4. Then we are writing this is as 4. Okay, in the same row. Okay, in the same row. Okay, let's consider this is as a row 1, which is the row of coefficients of the polynomial. Okay, which is the row of the coefficients of the polynomial. Now, in the same row, we are writing the divisor equal to making the divisor equals to 0. The value of x we are writing over here. Then next, make some space. Okay, leave another row over here. Now the row 2. Some make some space for the row 2. Leave this row. Then draw a horizontal line. So after drawing the horizontal line, so for the leading coefficient, okay, under the leading coefficient in row 2, Okay, under the leading coefficient in row 2, write 0. Okay, over here, write 0 over here. Then next, after writing 0, add the column elements. Add the column elements. So now the first column. So leading coefficient column, this is the first column. Now add the column elements, then we get it as a 1 plus 0 is 1 only. Okay, 1 plus 0 is 1 only. Okay. Next, multiply 
the next rule we need to follow is multiply multiply what we have to multiply this divisor and the sum we obtain under the leading coefficient now multiply the divisor and the sum we obtain under the leading coefficient now multiply these two what we'll get 4 into 1 4 this 4 has to be written in the next column under the next column in second row so we have to write over here okay after multiplying this the resultant has to be written under the second column okay in the second column in the second row okay after that now add okay add the next column after multiplying then we have to add again so add this one minus 6 plus 4 we get this is as a minus 2 okay minus 2 so after getting the minus 2 then we have to repeat this process okay then we have to repeat this process until the last column we have to repeat this process until the last column so now what it is the next process what is the next one multiply again okay multiply so now this minus 2 is multiplied by again the divisor factor 4 okay so now what it is 4 into minus 2 we obtain this is as minus 8 okay the minus 8 has to be written under the next column okay it has to be written in next column under the quotient okay right so then we get this is as a minus 5 add okay we have to add this okay after adding again we need to follow the step now this minus 5 has to be multiplied by 4 then we get this is as a minus 20 now add these two under the next column add these two we get this is as a 6 okay then next what it is after adding again multiply okay again multiply okay again multiply what is 6 into 4 now the 6 is multiplied by 4 6 into 4 24 now add these two so we get this as a zero so until the third row okay until the row three fill ups then we have to continue this process i think you are not getting what what i am saying so first we have to write the given polynomial coefficients in decreasing orders of the variable that means from x power n to x power 0 okay here we are writing from x power 4 to x power 0 okay next after that make the divisor equal to 0 okay make the divisor equal to 0 then we will get the value for the variable for the divisor okay that divisor has to be right to the left of the coefficient column that is the row 1 after that under the leading coefficient in second row we have to simply put it as 0 then add the first column we will get the resultant in the third row the third row is sum of the first two rows okay so now after that we have to multiply that result with the divisor factor that is x is equals to 4 now multiply that the resultant the multiply resultant has to be written in the second row under the second column element okay under the second column element in the second row we have to write again we need to add that column so the elements has to be added minus 6 plus 4 is added we are getting minus 2 and again multiply right in the next column the result and write in the next column again add and multiply right in the next column again add and multiply this has to be continued until the row 3 has to be filled up after writing the row 3 the last element okay the last element is remainder okay the last element is remainder and given element the remaining elements okay the remaining elements so that means these elements are the coefficients of the quotient okay coefficients of the quotient okay the remaining elements are the coefficients of the quotients now what is this this is the constant term x power 0 coefficient 
now this one is x power 1 coefficient and this one is x power 2 coefficient and this one is x power 3 coefficient so now we can write this is as what is the coefficient which is x cube minus 2 into x square minus 5x plus 6 is the quotient okay is the quotient and remainder is 0 remainder is 0 okay so i think you understand how to perform the synthetic division for the given polynomial if the division that means the divisor is a linear expression okay if the divisor is a linear expression like x minus a or x plus a in the form of equal to 0 okay x plus a or x minus a now if the divisor is the another important point here we have to consider if the divisor is in the form of ax plus b then we need to convert it is as such that x plus b by a form okay then now equate this to 0 if we equate this to 0 then we will get x is equal to minus b by a okay to the left of the coefficients okay to the left of the coefficients of the vertical line here that is replaced by minus b by a okay it is replaced by minus b by a so in the given polynomial if any term is missed okay any term is missing for example if the x power 3 coefficient is missing this is uh, not given in the question then we have to make the coefficient as 0 okay we need to put the coefficient as 0 okay